It'll be James Norwood here in inning number nine for the Phillies. Phillies looking to wrap up their 12th win of the season and kind of snap this three-game losing streak. This was uh, one they really needed. Yeah, it seemed like tonight they came out with a sense of urgency from jump start and they kept adding on and they you know, executed the game plan and Nola came out and did what he needed to do for seven innings. And two hits, I think. And man, he, he's, he looked very, very sharp tonight. Very, very sharp. Very good outing by Aaron Nola. Starling Marte, the batter, to lead things off here against Norwood in the ninth. He's responsible for the Mets only run, a homer. And the pitch is bounced out in front of the plate. First pitch splitter from Norwood. First pitch splitter. Norwood. He got his first major league win over the Mets last weekend. And the next pitch is down low. 1 0 mark, 540 ERA. Stalin Marte sporting a Mickey Mouse chain, it looked like. Yep. Wonder what the story behind that is. 2 0. That's fastball strike. They like Disney World? He must, I guess. I don't know. Two one, swing and a miss. Good pitch. I mean, you got you, He's got some money. Just spend it on whatever. So <laughs> maybe one of his kids like Mickey Mouse. Maybe. That maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's a gift from one of his kids. Uh, well, maybe he really likes Mickey. Mouse. I don't know if it's a gift from one of his kids with all those diamonds in there. It's a gift to a gift. Yeah, gate, one of those give to yourself kind yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Swing a bouncer to short. Camargo coming in. Fields throws to first, but not in time to get him. And then Camargo takes a divot out of the uh, infield and falls down over there to the left of the mound. So Marte with an infield hit. Marte still can get down the line. Yeah. That'll be his second hit of the game. Are you a Disneyland amusement park roller coaster kind of guy? I would say sorta. Of. Sorta. Of. I, I would say for my kids more likely now, not not for me. When I was young, they still had Back to the Future and Jaws and stuff like that. I think that's changed now. Lindor swings and crushes one high and deep, right center, and that is going to go. And Francisco Lindor with a two-run home run here. In the ninth inning, that'll make it a seven to three ball game as Lindor with his fifth. And for the first time this season, the Phillies have given up a home run in the ninth inning of a game. Well, at least it's with the big lead. At least yeah. it's not one of those that's a. But it is that moment, I think, where the Phillies are going to have to think about calling the bullpen. Oh, no doubt. As. You know, they're what they're really hoping is that Norwood could have gotten them through the ninth without having to get Corey Knabel up. But I don't think they're going to be able to avoid it now with that home run by Lindor. I think he has the leisure, probably one more base runner. You think? I think. He really wants to avoid Knable getting up. When you got a game like this, you're up seven to one. You really, but uh. first pitch swinging to Lindor, and he hits one four twenty one. Right about the same spot where Harper hit his. Back in the fourth inning. Here's the pitch to Alonzo. Swing and a miss at a first pitch split. I think Norwood has a nasty split. Maybe. That's the primary uh, out pitch. Mostly fastballs and splitters from Norwood. Corey Knable is warming up. Here's the pitch. 
And Alonzo swings and lines one down the left field line. A base hit. Bowman went leaping for it. Couldn't get it. It's going to go to the corner. And here goes Alonzo into second. And we'll see whether or not he gets much more rope here. James Norwood hasn't retired a batter yet. I don't think he's going to get any more. They're going to have JT walk all the way to the mound now. Uh, slow walk. Joe kind of is up. Hopped out of the chair and angled back towards the bottom of the dugout steps. And they're all sort of looking out into the bullpen. Looking for bullpen coach Dave Lundquist to tip the cap and say that he's ready. Yes, they are. So JT now with a slow walk back to the plate. And here comes Eduardo Escobar. Norwood delivers in the pitch. Swung on, line towards second. Segura to his left. He snares it. And there's one away. So there's one out of the nine. That ball was tumbling as he hit it. A lot of top spin on yeah. it. Like. Wasn't hit all that hard. No. Here comes she, McNeil. She didn't really have to look that ball in to make sure, he, you know, he didn't misplay it. He did a good job with that. The pitch. And McNeil tries to bunt, and that fouled off, got a piece of JT there. Yeah, he tried to run out the box before he even laid it down, and that's what caused him to make the run it, to hit it foul, and... Actually, this is a big at bat uh, for Norwood. If he can get this out right here, this would be big, and you wouldn't have to use Knable in the game, hopefully. But if not, if you don't get this out right here, he's definitely coming into the game. Oof. That got him just lower left of the chest protector, like right about belt high. He was moving right when he, when he did it. And yeah, that, that catcher is going to take a beating throughout the year. Uh, It's seven to three Phillies. Mets with a runner at second. There's one out here in the ninth. Norwood's pitch on the way. Ground ball right side. It's through. A base hit into right field. They'll hold Alonzo at third base, and that will probably be the end of the line for Norwood. Here comes Joe Girardi. So they're trying to get through without using the closer tonight, but. James Norwood gives up the infield hit, a homer, a double to Alonzo, and now another hit to McNeil. So a tough night for James. And the Phillies will have to make a change. 7-3 ball game. Mets need one more base runner to get the tying run to the plate. We've got a pitching change break back in a moment on the right hander Corey Knable. Going for his fifth save. He's got an 0 1 record of .87 ERA. Two men on, one out here in the ninth inning. Tying run on deck right now. And Kadabel. Tying run on deck right now. And Kadabel. He's about to face Mark Canna. Got Canna do up and then Dominic Smith. Canable has given up one earned run in 10 and a third innings thus far. Now, just to sh just so you know, Michael, the whole note about the Phillies not allowing a home run in the ninth inning all season. That's in the notes. I didn't say anything about it. <laughs> I didn't and they say give anything. up a home run in the ninth I, inning. I didn't say anything. And then I mentioned it. I, did, I didn't say I anything. I just want everybody to. No, I'm just. Hey, throw me some flowers, all right? I, okay. I left it alone today. <laughs> all I'm looking for is the W. I, that's what I'm focused on right now. I, I forgot about the home run. I'm looking for these next two outs so we can get this W. That's what I'm looking for. 
Well, we'll see if Knievel can get it. Canna. Maybe a one-pitch ground ball. How about play. that? Speak it into existence. <laughs> Knievel at the belt. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Strike called. And it's nothing and one. Alonzo's over at third base. McNeil's at first. Outfield, Schwarber, Herrera, and Quinn. Phillies did not make a defensive change. It left. There's Kyle Schwarber out there. Quinn replaced Castellanos, who left after being hit by a pitch. The 0-1. Swing at a ground ball. Back up the middle. Off the glove of the pitcher. He goes to pick it up. Throws to first. Late. And the Mets are still alive. They get another run home. It's now a 7-4 Phillies lead. And the Mets... Here in the ninth, they're going to bring the tying run to the plate. Got the ground ball, didn't get the double play. Yeah. Gene was actually playing right behind him, but, you know, of course, as a pitcher, that reaction, you can't, you can't help it. This was a 7-1 to one game when the inning started. McNeil stopping at second on the play. RBI for Canna, his ninth. And Dominic Smith, who's 0 for 3 tonight. A couple of fly ball outs against Nola. Struck out against Familia in the eighth. He's the tying run with one out. Here's the pitch. And it's taken for a called strike. Outfield, the center fielder Herrera shaded over to left center against Smith. Schwarber straight away and left. Three infielders right side against Smith. The pitch he takes, it's up high. It definitely made this game very interesting. Yep, easy street a few minutes ago, but not the case any longer. One ball, one strike, the pitch. And there's a strike called inside corner. And Smith complaining about that call? Looked like it. Looked like it. He looked like he wasn't happy with it. Uh, actually, it was a strike. But looked like he's not ha too happy with it. But nonetheless, it's still 1-2. One ball, two strikes. Knabel comes set and time gets called. E.D. Davis moves to the on-deck circle to bat for Nito. The one-two pitch on the way. Curve in the dirt. J.T. blocks it. Lost his helmet in the process. Wall back there. Who came up and oh, yeah. caught him on that. The guard that drops down. Got him underneath. Got him underneath it. Wow. Make sure he has all his chicklets in there. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes. Knabel to the belt. Here's the pitch. It's taken. Oh, man. That is all over the strike zone, and Phil Cuzzy misses that one. Wow. Yes, he missed that call. Well, if Dominic Smith didn't like the other one, he better really like that one. Now the count is full, three and two. Time's called. Dominic Smith with one out of the ninth. He's the tying run. Fans didn't feel cozy he here. In a seven to four ball game. Three balls, two strikes. Knable ready at the belt. He looks back at second. He kicks and the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Curve ball got him. Very and good. Dominic Smith goes down on strikes. Very good pitch by Knable. Big boy pitch is what I call that one right there. 
And now J.D. Davis, one of the better power threats off the bench. And he'll bat for Nito. He's the eighth man to come to the plate in this ninth inning. So Davis bats here against Knable. Three runs home in the ninth. And one more man to get. For most of this game, it felt like a game that was just cruising along. And right here, we have all the action in one inning at the bottom of the ninth. Here's the pitch. Davis takes, and it's a little bit high for ball one. Barely missing, really. One ball and no strikes. Davis has faced Knabel three times. He's 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. Infield defense pretty much straight up against the right-handed batter. The 1-0 pitch on the way, curve, and that's going to finish a little bit high. And it's a 2-0 count. Now if Davis reaches and extends this ball game, Brandon Nimmo waits on deck. The center fielder Herrera, a step the opposite way. He's deep in center. Quinn straight away deep in right. The 2-0 pitch. Swung on, lined over the leap of Baum. It's down into the left field corner. And the game continues. McNeil will score. Canna around third. They put the stop sign up for Mark Canna. And a pinch hit double by J.D. Davis has made it a 7-5 at Philly's lead. And now the go-ahead run is coming to the plate for the Mets. This is getting way too interesting. Four runs scored by the Mets at the top of the ninth. You know, that's why we said earlier baseball is never over with, but hopefully Connecticut can knock this, lock this down with a big out right here with Nemo, and we can go home winners. Travis Jankowski, the former Philly, will run for Davis at second base. He's the tying run with two outs. The go-ahead run is Nimmo. He's at the plate. Brandon Nimmo will face Knable. And a base hit could tie this game up. Entering today, Major League teams leading by at least six runs in the ninth inning. 66 and 0. Yeah. Scott. 7 5 game. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball. Strike called. Here we go. Here we go. Billy still have Roman Quinn fairly deep in right field. Thinking more about cutting down an extra base hit potential, I guess. I guess so. Figuring Jankowski will score on any base hit with two outs. Here's the 0 1. And it's up high, fastball. Now the Mets have their closer warming up. As they get two righties up in the pen. Looks like Lugo alongside. Hey, Corey, to lock this thing Diaz. down right now. Lock it down, Corey. Lock it down. Right-hander to the belt. He kicks the pitch. Breaking ball lined up the middle. That's going to be a base hit into center field. Odubel comes up fire into the plate, and the throw is not in time. And the Mets have tied this game up. The Phillies have blown a six-run lead in the ninth inning. It is seven to seven here in the top of the ninth. Brandon Nimmo. With a two out, two run single. Has started us over here with two outs in the ninth. Well, we gotta we gotta keep it here. The first four runs charged. To Norwood, the last two have been charged to Corey Knable. And here is Starling Marte, 
who before this inning had driven in the only run, he started this inning with an infield single. Canable delivers, and Marte swings, hits one high in the air, left center field in the gap. Long run, Oduble towards the wall. He won't get it. It falls on the warning track. Nemo's coming around third. He will score. Incredibly, it is now 8-7 to seven Mets on Marte's double to the base of the left center field wall. They've scored seven times in the ninth inning. And New York has an 8-7 lead. Marte with his third hit of the night, his second hit of this inning. Caleb Cotham going out to talk to Corey Knabel, who blows the save. He got all of that. Not all of it, but he hit a good piece of ball. He was ready to hit on the first pitch, got a fastball he'd like, and drove it into the left center gap. The Phillies are now getting Andrew Bellotti loose in the bullpen. Here comes Lindor, who homered earlier this inning, and he takes up high for ball one. Knabel, that curveball did nothing. Yes. Like it slipped out his hand, didn't get, didn't get the spin that he wanted on it. Edwin Diaz will be on the mound in the bottom of the ninth. And the Mets will have the lead. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, that's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. And the pitch. Swing at a ground ball right back at Knable. He's got it. Flips underhand to first. And the side's retired. Seven runs in the inning. As the Phillies bullpen implodes here in the ninth. And we're going to the bottom of the ninth. Last chance time for the.